the Banner boys look quite strong, even without the injured centre-back James McInerney. Brian O'Connell switches to centre-back, Ogie Murphy starts at centre-field, while Jerry Quinn gets a late call-up to wing-back. In attack, there's also an alteration. Cormac O'Donovan starts instead of Cratlow's Sean Collins. The Slaney Siders welcome back Paul Roach to the full back line, which means Lar Prendergast loses out. Down the middle, Wexford are formidable. Now that Keith Rossiter, Darren Stamp, Colin Farrell, Owen Quigley and Stephen Banville form the spine of the Wexford team 2010. Wearing number 12 this afternoon is the team captain, Dermot Lane. Colin Bonner on home turf here, of course, in Tipperary. It's a bitterly cold day here in Thurles. No breeze uh, to favour either side, so in terms of hurling conditions, it's ideal. Good work by Darren Stamp. Lays it off as Richie Kill. Gets by that initial challenge. Equally important in hurling as it is indeed in football. Banville. And, uh, under pressure from Keen Dillon. This runs out as Rory Jacob. Swings it uh, Cathogue style and swings it over the crossbar. Ger Sparrow O'Loughlin, now manager of the Banner County. Referee says no whistle, no free. Dermot Ling avails of the opportunity to swing it inside the post and send it over the bar. Very good score by the Wexford captain. Jerry Quinn seemed to fall here. Dermot Lane continued on. No foul given. Correct decision, by the way, because Dermot was nowhere near Jerry Quinn. It's a good uh, point. Nicely batted down by Maliki Travers to Colin Farrell. Rory Jacob, first to the ball. Swinging it far as big Stevie Banville. On the turn. On the scoring sheets. Quality points by a quality full forward. Stephen Banville adds to Wexford's tally. Got away here rather easily from Keen Dillon. Took the time to swing it over. Jonathan Clancy, John Conlon calling for it. It was Ogie Murphy that gave him the ball, and it was John Conlon that scored, in fact. Fratlow and Clanlara in club hurling and Clare, great rivals, but they combine nicely for that score there. There's a bit of a row going on here between uh, Kieran Kenny and Dara Conan. And uh, colleagues come in and separate the two of them. A yellow card for both. Peter Atkinson, referee says no foul on the clear corner back. Atkinson tries to make an anger of himself, well surrounded by blue jerseys. Runs into a cul-de-sac, which way is it going to fall out? Comes for his Pat Vaughan. Gives it quickly for his uh, Jonathan Clancy. Long ball into the Wexford half of the field. Here's a chance. Oh, brilliant goal. Absolutely smashing strike by Colin Ryan. New Market and Fergus, when you mention that famous club, you have to mention the Rhine family. Here's the latest generation. Oh, that was a sweet strike on the run, volleyed past the Wexford keeper, giving Noel Cart no chance. Back out for Sean Collins. Has the vision to uh, spray it across. Ogie Murphy gives it to Dara Conan, and that is... Top class. Big lad, uh, Dara Conan, on the 21 all Ireland medalist last year. Lovely lad, good hurler. Well gathered by a Wexford attack that is uh, needing a little bit more potency. Perhaps PJ Nolan can provide that leadership. That's a good score did well to create the uh, opportunity. 
Clare playing against the wind in this second half. And also facing into the sunshine. Sent in Farris uh, from Ling. Back outside Farris, Colin Farrell. That's not a bad idea. It's an idea that has worked and transferred from uh, a thought to a score. Quick sideline ball ended up with Colin Farrell. It's his first point, and Wexford now lead by two. Well won by Colin Ryan. Stopped by Paul Roach. Flicked through. Darren Stamp just got a touch to it. Comes down for eventually first John Conlon. He's going to hit off the post. He's there again, and it's put into the back of the net. A goal for Clare. It was a bit of a journey, to say the least. But eventually, it reached its destination. As the ball bobbled around, John Conlon hit it off the post. He pulled in it, and it went off. Keith Roster's heel and into the net. Well stopped by Atkinson. Looking around at various op immediate options. Ling missed it. Rory Jacob didn't. Back again for his Colin Farrell, and that's point ever though for the midfielder from Von Clody. And Claire and Wexford are level yet again. Good work here by Paul Roach. Sent back down the middle route, despite the sunshine and the breeze. Well gathered. Rory Jacob feeds Colum Farrell, going for point number three. And there's the white flag. Midfield, half back line, totally dominant on the Wexford side. At the end of it all, Wexford lead by two. Now Clare against the wind and against the sunshine. Have to come forward and get an equaliser. Is Jonathan Clancy the man? He is. The only point he scored in this league final. But it could turn out to be the crucial one. And give the banner perhaps a lifeline. A minute and a half left in Simple Stadium, Perlis. And what has now turned out to be a somewhat exciting climax. Nice little flick up. Here's a chance for Owen Quigley. That's a smashing effort. And Wexford and Clare are finally beginning to show their hurling prowess. Under a little bit of pressure. Still Dylan. Flicks it forward. Not enough support play by the banner. Floats it into the space. Chasing after this. A vital ball for Donald Donovan. Philip Brennan has to keep it within the boundary, this loose ball, the ball is in the net! One Wexford man beat two Clare man, and Rory Jacob has got the vital touch that guarantees Wexford not alone win Division 2, but they'll be playing in Division 1 hurling in 2011. Surely it's Wexford's day, and to be honest, they have been the better team, all the way through, but Clare's battling qualities may well still give them a lifeline. They need a goal, they need a point. Whipped in, stopped in its tracks. Here comes fullback Keith Roster, fouled on his way out. Three out to the Slaney Siders. Well, it might have been a bit dull and boring in the first half, but it's been quite exciting in the second half. And for Derek Honan, it's a second yellow card and a red. Clare reduced down to 14 players, and it's bye-bye to the Division II title as well. But you have to say, even although the final whistle hasn't blown, the Wexford have been, over the 70 minutes or so, the better team. This is Pat Vaughan coming out with it, sweeping it down this right-hand touchline, out over the sideline, line ball for Wexford. And Colin Bonner and Wexford have found the magic formula, a team that was beaten by Carlo, and full credit to Carlo, by the way, but Wexford recovered from that shock defeat to come back, get into the Division 2 final, face the men of Clare in Simple Stadium, and get through on a scoreline of Wexford, one goal and 16 points, Clare, two goals and nine. Proud moment for St. Martin's as Seamus Howland, chairman of the Leinster Council, 
presents it to one of his own, Dermot Lang. Wexford are Division Two champions, 2010. Most important.